Hi everyone, my name is Vikas Raut. Welcome to my channel Digital Prime. Friends, in today's video, we are going to discuss about GST tax configuration in SAP S4 HANA. So stay tuned with this video from starting to end and let's understand how GST configuration are done in SAP S4 HANA. So let me enter into the SAP server. So let me use my login credentials now there we are so I have logged in into my SAP server so let me open the document first so here are uh, the steps which are involved for GST configuration there are major nine steps okay and input and output tax are denoted into SAP so input tax basically in general it's a purchase tax and output tax in sap but in in general it is sales tax okay access sequence and uh, all these major steps we will be looking once we start doing the configuration so stay tuned with the video let me now log in into my sap now let me use the login credentials Here we go. Now I have logged in into my SAP EC access. So before we start doing configuration, I have done some of the configuration for my another company code. I have already created a condition type. I would like to show you the overview so that you would have more idea on that on it. So the transaction code is OBYZ. Type on command box and press enter you will see the condition element and three major elements which is a condition type access sequence and procedure so double click on condition type and click on at the bottom position and you give the condition type which you have created so i have created which is a dp cg and press enter and then just select that dp cg and click on a detailed icon which looks like magnifying glass so click on it you will find out these all the major configurations which is done and I have created a input central GST for my another company code as in a condition type for central GST likewise we also have to create for state GST integrated and zero if you have any zero tax type of transactions that you wanted to record for your business uses okay so let's get back so initially may the major things that we need to do is these all are the configuration that we need to keep in mind as per the business requirements so let's get back slash n i have came back right now and in excel i have already created those all are the condition codes so that would save us lot more time for us so for input we have to create separate for all these four which is a central state and integrated and zero likewise same we have to repeat for output tax as well okay so let me go to the sap easy access screen and let's enter the code which is obyz and press enter now double click on condition type click on new entries now give your code which you have created which is xpcg for central gst okay and uh, give it over here itself and uh, you can also copy the descriptions which you have given for this which is input central gst okay and paste it for the next box condition class so before we go that we have a sequence access sorry access sequence so click over here itself on the box and click on this small box now you will find out over here is tax classification so you just select this mwst code and press enter now condition class give a condition class is as a tax now calculation type would be a percentage which is a denotes then condition type would be again a tax come down you will find out d then select d press enter now you have to click on checkbox of group condition 
and here you have a under changes which can be made item condition checkbox you just click on checkbox and then what you do click on save and click on green icon now you can see the data was saved right now what we can do is instead of doing step by step all these what we can do is just go back select this xpcg which we have created right now for central gst and click on copy as icon here okay that will save a lot more time click on copy as now just change the condition type code and the description that's it so what we'll do is right now we have created for central gst now we'll create for state gst that's what i have kept xp which the starting two coordinates for my company and sg which is a state gst right so the copy this and paste it over here itself now again go and copy your description now sorry now you just go to the sap and change this description to this press enter now click on save there you can see data was saved you can see here xpsg just select this click on detail icon you can see there will be already data has been saved so likewise what we'll do is we have just selected this click on copy again now go there copy the text and paste it over here now in the same way what we have to do is we have to copy this description and paste it over here itself right so integrated for this this one is for integrated and press enter now click on save so the data was saved right so here we can see that we have created for uh, integrated state and we have also created for central as well right so you can see here it is for central state and integrated we have created so three all we have created now one more we have to create for uh, zero tax so what we'll do is we'll just select any one of them and click on copy icon go to excel sheet copy the code which you have created and you just paste it over here itself go to excel then copy the description which you have created and now just paste it out over here itself press enter we can see that number of entries copied one and click on save so if you go and click on position and just enter xp and press enter you can see related to xp number of codes has been created so let's enter our complete code which is xp cg press enter we can see that we have created all of these right so central gst integrated and state and one more we have created for zero the transaction the code was x i z t right so let's come back and check for that also x i z t right click on okay there we can see zero input taxes so for input we have created as of now right so we are done with input in the same way we have to also create for our output as well so then we will be done with the in condition type for input and as well as for output as well okay so let's go back over here itself and type obyz okay double click on condition type click on new entries okay and in this what we'll do is we'll copy the code in the same way likewise what we have did earlier for input paste it out over here itself and copy the description and paste over here 
access sequence as i said we have to take a tax classification just select mwst and press enter condition class which will be a tax and calculation type would be in form of percentage which denotes a and condition category which is tax right and in same way group condition we have to select checkbox and item condition under change changes which can be made right and click on save click on green icon now we can see that we have already created for output as well okay let's come back copy this okay and click on uh, just select this click on copy as icon and copy the next code for state just paste it over here copy your description as well and paste it over here press enter you can see number of entries copied one press on save click on save now again just copy this click on sorry uh, select this click on copy as icon and uh, just copy this integrated paste it over here and again you copy this likewise friends what you have to do is you have to create individually for each and every transactions basically for each and every tax type okay now press enter click on save it's already done now now what we have to do is uh, we have already created for integrated now we have to create for zero right so now select this and click on copy as now you just copy the code and paste it over here now again you copy this and paste your description press enter click on save now what we can do is that we have created the condition type for input tax and output tax in step one so we are done with step one so we'll check this once again which is xo cg xo sg xo ig and xo zo so let's check xo zo so xo zo it's already at the top select this click on detail icon so you can see here that we have already created it right likewise you just create one and make a copy of all and just make a changes of uh, the description itself okay so what it exactly denotes now the second one which is related to accounting key we have to create an accounting key for these all condition type in sap right so the transaction code for accounting key is obcn so as this video is going to be too long so we'll uh, stop the session right now over here itself i will make you understand how to create the accounting key in my next video likewise we'll make a series and we'll complete all of these nine steps and we'll make it the configuration of gst i hope you like this video in case if you have any sort of query just give your thoughts in the comment section definitely i would entertain all those comments and your queries and i would love to answer all of your questions thank you so much for your time that you have given thanks a lot